I got there and they were like, ah, small jobs, meet I was like, oh, these people didn't think about me. <laughs> but yeah, I what, enjoyed what we every day. McDonald's. Yeah, I had McDonald's. I danced a lot and uh, you guys will probably, you've already seen that video because I don't know which video I'll post first, either that one or this one. But whichever way, if you see it, you will see what happened. And uh, yes. What are you apprehensive or scared about? Hey, this one everyone knows who is the labor. Although I've watched, uh, you know, so many videos because I, we ch no, I would not say I. So we chose to have the water bath because, not because it's the easiest, because every bath is difficult. Whether you are on the hospital bed or you are lying on the floor or you're in the water, all comes with its disadvantage and advantages. But I sat down when I did my research and I realized that the water bath is quite, is more better because it makes you feel relaxed whilst you're in the water. And uh, you you don't tend to, you don't see, I'm not that person, I don't like injections, honestly yeah, speaking. Yeah, we all know that. So, when I <laughs> see those, in, in the needles and the scissors and the, it just puts fear in me. And everything, to, even if I'm happy, I, my mood just switch and then I start panicking. So, I don't want to see all those stuff. And having it in the water... I mean, in the pool, you know that you don't see those things. You only see your towel or probably, I mean, your family around you who will be helping you, massaging you and all that. So it's more like, you know, relaxing and all that. And uh, in case I need any pain relief, either the massage or possibly the gas, that's all I request. Gas and air. Yeah, the gas and air. I don't want, you don't to want have, epidural. Never, I'll never have it. Even if I'm in that high pain, I'll never request for it. We'll see. It's not about we'll see. I'll never request for it because later on, I don't want to be have any, you know, um, who affect is it your legs? I don't know what is your legs or something. Is that when you have a you can it has its own, you know, bad um side effects. Yeah, side effects, and I don't want to go through that. So. Listen, we're going so all wrong. Go all wrong. Hmm? Oh, no, no pain, pain relief. relief. Just say it again. No pain relief in Jesus' name. Jesus will be there helping me. Oh, Jesus, you have to be there. <laughs> sharp, 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 sharp. And then, mention. So, um, just few. Let me just give out these few words. I'm talking from my own experience and uh, what I think would help. Me, what has helped me and what would possibly help others is that that's if you're a christian even unbelievers when they're in labor for some reason i ask myself why do they shout jesus god help me god help me so that means even though they don't really believe in god they know that god exists mm -hmm. how much more are we christians so if you're a christian out there trust me if you want to, I mean, go through this whole pregnancy smoothly, even though it's going to be, I mean, quite difficult. Don't be watching horror movies. That's what I avoided. I'm not, even before I got pregnant, I don't like horror movies. So stop watching horror movies. And uh, if you think you are alone and you are bored and you are scared, call a friend, call your mom, call someone, then just be on the phone talk to them mm -hmm. because at the point i felt i felt uh, a bit depressed so i was very angry at myself sometimes i had to you know i argued so much with this mood when it was unnecessary and i had to just sit down one day and i'm like what am i doing and it is it all starts from when you feel like you're not getting all you're not getting attention you're not getting okay, that yeah. care and help you get it not that that person is not there Desmond has been good, he has been caring and all that, but at the same time, I felt that it wasn't enough. Even though he thought he was doing his best, but I felt that I needed more than that. And it wasn't that that I needed, I realized. that All that I needed was to just be thinking positive, just calm down, just be watching. If you want to watch movies, there are so many nice v I mean, movies that will make you laugh, that will even make you feel okay. Watch those movies. If you can't watch movies, just do the YouTube. You can watch YouTube. And uh, 
I kept on even watching our wedding videos and I was always smiling oh. and, and laughing and something. I was crying. I was talking to baby D saying, look at mommy and daddy. And it's, mm -hmm. that's what I've, I was doing. And apart from that, music. I love music. I sing. And gospel music has been helping quite a lot. I always listen to Joe Metal. I listen to um, Dinah. Uh, what's the name? Dinah Entry or Dinah Hamilton. If I don't pronounce her name or whatever it is. Yeah, I have been listening to uh, Joe Metal, Dinah Hamilton, and uh, what's this guy's name? There's this other guy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, joy, joyful. Is it Joyful Celebration? Jo no, no, no. Joyful Way. Yeah. Joyful way. I've been listening to Nayla. Nayla has always been. I mean, she's got a nice. Voice. She's got a very beautiful voice. She knows this, and uh, from the one ever since I, I mean, I listened to her music. I've been. I mean, I've loved her music since the one till now, and uh, I've been listening to her as well. Especially her worship songs. Whenever she sings worship songs, it just it doesn't it. It moves me, it touches me. I just feel, I don't know. Is it you feel that, you, you feel, not feeling good, but Calm, I don't, at e peace. exactly. I'm at peace. Even when I'm hungry and I listen to worship, worship songs, it makes me feel good. I feel okay and everything vanishes. So yeah, these three, I would say. There might be more people, but yeah, Bettina, she's also good, Bettina Bonsu. And I mean, this is the one of, who sing Maverick City. Yeah, yeah, I love them, and all these people they've been helping with my pregnancy mm. because whilst I listen to music, you know, music is not in it's not a bad thing, it just makes you feel it's uh, music either makes you feel good or it makes you feel sad. That is, it depends on the kind of music you listen to. Mm -hmm. But when I'm sad, when I'm happy, gospel music is all I listen to. So these have been helping, and I've been watching some preachings as well. Yeah, sometimes I watch Desmond's video, previous videos that he did on Aquila Babs, you know, my first channel. I listen to those as well. Sometimes I laugh. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, maybe it's because I was raised up this way, so I'm used to this. So the, the, it helps a lot when you, when you listen to music as well. And uh, stay away from negative people. People that will, you, you know, be telling you scary things and be, you know, um... Instead of them motivating you, they might tend to, you know, tell you stuff that will, you know, get you too angry or too mad. Just stay away from them. Social media, I wouldn't say it's bad when you're pregnant. It's good because you get to, you know, instead of you feeling too bored, you can just go out there on Instagram, just watch stuff. But don't let things that people say over there get to you too much. Because when you get mad and you're stressed, your baby also gets stressed. That's one thing I've learned. So yeah, these are the things that I would say. And the rest you went of, on a social media, not a break, but yeah, more of a. And so many people were asking, "Are you okay? Are you guys okay? Are you guys? I mean, have you traveled?" Like people that genuinely ask, I appreciate, and I was happy about the fact that they were trying to check up on us. But some also were the subscribers. Too, yeah, the subscribers. But the people that we knew personally that they've also subscribed to us, and some of them were asking. There were other people that I did not, I really don't expect them to ask me such questions. Oh. For example, something that really put me off was the fact that people will call you. You've not told them you're pregnant. But then they'll call you because you've not been posting, because you've not been going to church. And then they'll ask you, this is the kind of question they ask. And they don't ask it in a positive... I don't mind asking me in a positive way. I'll be very nice to you and I'll be okay. Do not ask a pregnant woman, are you pregnant? Don't ask. Like, yeah, don't. don't ask. Because it's not a good feeling. I'm speaking... If, if they aren't pregnant, how would they feel? Exa exactly. Like, I'm speaking from my own experience and from other pregnant women, which they've also said the same thing. It's not because they feel like, oh, um, we know that most of them are trying to be, they're happy for us. So just, just, and it's as if you're, you're not married or you are almost about to get married or you're trying to sort yeah. of, and someone just comes and asks you, when are you when getting you, married? When, when are you getting married? When are you having a Don't ask so those kind of sorry questions. 
it it does very um the person may sound very good to you in front of you but behind the scenes they don't feel happy about it and you know i'm a very open person that is straight for a person i do not like those questions so don't ask me do you get the reason why i we chose to be low-key and not to announce it earlier for people to notice uh it's not everything that you have to put out, out there if you want to that's fine but i and my husband have chosen to do it our way and we hope you guys respect that so that's just a little thing we'll say like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your family and friends and also to people who are going to be uh, moms soon or planning to be mothers you can watch from this video and learn some few tips yes this all these opinions are ours and my experience if you want you can take it if you want to you can take advice from your families and friends that's entirely up to you so thank you for watching god bless you we love you remember life is too short laugh always love often live your life don't leave it for anyone mm -hmm. keep spreading love and peace Bye. Oh, and also, if if you are an expectant mother or of some sort, and you're feeling lonely, or I don't know, you're feeling down, like it's okay to get help. And I'm sure if there's some any of the subscribers, if you're expecting a baby right now, they can contact the unit. Yeah, through our email, which is in the description box, or you can also follow us on social media. You know, we can talk. Bye.